welcome back to another online Switch Sports Golf video. Back on the grind, looking to make a push from S6 closer to S7. It looks like for the first game of the video, we find one S7 player, and we found another low S-ranked player, and then the rest of the lobby, not so good. It's actually quite a mixed bag. There were only a few other A players, and then I think there was a B player, and that last one was like C or D or something. So realistically, probably going to be pretty competitive between myself and the S7 player. But I mean, you never know. One of these lower ranked players could be a smurf, or they could just have their absolute game of their lives. I played a, a match yesterday where I, I had 52 points and I lost to someone who had 56, and I'm pretty sure they were like A27 or something like that. And, uh... They just had a great game. They played really well. So you never really know with Nintendo Switch Sports Golf. Nice shot. But enough chit chat. It's time to start focusing on the golf here. First hole, I'd love to see 14 on the first hole to just get off to a great start, build some momentum for the rest of the game. We have a pretty easy chance for an eagle here after a what looked like a close chip. I think we were almost in the bunker, but I calculated the power just about perfect. And there's a very nice eagle putt. Great foundation to build off for the rest of the game. Now, it was tricky wind. But it also wasn't tricky wind. It allowed us to take the shortcut over the water quite easily. It did make the chip onto the green a little more difficult, but I'm not surprised that there were five eagles there on 14. So going to be tied for first as we move on to 15 with what looks like some more strong tailwind here. Nice shot. I will club down to a spoon. Don't really need to go driver. No reason to. I mean, even with a spoon, it wasn't even the best shot. But I do hope that this strong wind isn't really a theme. Sometimes when I play golf, I find that just, like, my entire session happens to have really strong winds. And I've even had a few sessions where I've played in, like, multiple games in a row. It's, like, super low wind. So I don't know if that's just like the random RNG or if there really is something to do with strong winds, light winds often being RNG'd together, you know what I mean? But we'll see as the game goes on. Anyway, 15 with max wind did give me a little bit of trouble on my approach shot. And it also gave me trouble with my putt. I don't know what everyone else got. I did see a couple birdies, but I'm pretty sure most people did not get birdie. Alright, so this is actually totally fine. Only one person got birdie there. I'm only down to one person by three points. Eh. The S7 player is also tied on 21. So I'm not worried about the score. What may be worrisome is the fact that I missed uh, what should have been an easy putt. Normally, I'm pretty good at putting. I think I should have sunk that. So, what would be worrisome is if I'm just not on my putting game today. Because that would cause a lot of pain and trouble. But I think that was just a one-off putt. I think uh, I can clean up my putting act for the remainder of the game. So 17 here, not typically an easy, birdieable hole. Let's see if I get this crazy roll. Which I don't, which is nice. I still have yet to figure out this green, because I feel like... Just in that exact situation, I was expecting the ball to roll past the green, onto the other side, into the bunker. Now, I'm not complaining by any means, but you do often get like a, this launch-style roll on the green, on this hole. So I haven't figured it out. I guess I just had... The perfect power there, which I will absolutely take. Nice 
And that was a suspect putt, but it was a birdie nonetheless. Right after I said I would clean up my putting act, I had a bit of a dirty putt. And not dirty in like the clutch sense, dirty is in the opposite of clean. But anyway, I was the only one to birdie that, so pretty good 17 play on my end, tied myself back in first. And three points ahead of the S7 player, who I was thinking would be my biggest competition. Now Sunny, who's in first as well, I don't know the skill, I can't remember what rank Sunny is, so yeah, we'll just have to see how the game goes on. It's 22 million hour tailwind. Okay, decent hole position. Nice shot. I actually got an albatross on this hole with same pin position, very similar wind as well. I think it was two videos ago, can't remember, it was the very, very last hole in the video. And I do remember I hit that pin, dropped in, with a lot of speed. So I think I might go a little bit less power here, just trying to uh, learn from my mistakes. Even though an albatross wasn't a mistake, but you know what I mean. So with 5 iron, I guess I'm just going to go a little bit over 3 dots. Adjusted a little bit more left. Okay, that even now is too much power. We barely made it on the green. So I actually made a last minute adjustment to the left there, which ended up being a good play, otherwise I would have been on the, the fairway, so still not very good adjustment, but not a bad shot, all things considered. I can sink this eagle putt, and I think put myself in solo control of first place. Cheeky voice crack on that last sentence there, but I don't care because I'm in first place. So I guess that puts me at two eagles now. Unfortunately, I had the par, so I'm not on 58 point pace. I'm on 55, but there it is. Take four point lead over Sunny, and the S7 player also got a eagle. So a three point lead over her. Now I love to see a par three when I'm in the lead on the last hole because, well, I get even if I par and she birdies, we'd be going to a closest to the pin. But realistically. I'm probably going to birdie, which means she has to get a hole-in-one if she wants to win, so... Par 3, probably my best chance at maintaining a lead, although... 33 mile an hour tailwind, hole 11, probably the worst conditions you could get for a birdie, especially with pin position on the middle right. But I think I just gotta go like three and a half dots on the 7 iron with backspin. Perfect power. Could not have been better. It was just one and a half feet off of the, well, off to the right. Wind carried me slightly more than I want. But there it is. That will be a pretty nice 55 point performance for the first game of the video. And it looks like that will be a very nice win for us today. And with both players getting the par there, in the end, it'll be a six point victory. Very, very comfortable. I was not expecting this game to be so comfortable when I first jumped into the lobby. But I'm curious to see how much rank here. There were high ranked players and very low ranked players, so I don't really know what to expect here. Bottom, bottom end of S6. And we're still at the bottom end of S6, but it was a decent amount of rank for a win there. So I'll see you guys in game number two. Well, 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 looks like we are getting the rematch for the second game of the video. And very similarly to last game, we have the S7 player, one more low S player, and then two A players, the rest lettered rank. So another mixed bag. I do wonder if Ayu, the person I beat last game, if she's going to be out for some revenge this game, if I've just lit a fire inside of her. We'll see. We'll see how she plays, but uh, I'm totally fine if she wants to donate all of her rank to me today. That, that works too. But like I said, we'll see how the game goes on. We are starting on hole 7 here. With the tailwind, I went just a little bit under 3 dots on the 3 iron. And I think... 
I don't know, three and a half maybe on the three iron from here. Maybe even a little bit less. I'm just trying to think here. This stroke, exact stroke on hole seven, gives me trouble all the time. So I really have to be cognizant of my power here. Nice shot. Alright, that's actually pretty good. I did leave it just dead stick aim. Obviously the green pushed me a little bit to the right, but it's not a big deal. It's a safe birdie putt, which is exactly what I want out of hole 7. And it looks like four birdies here. Two pars, is it? And two bogeys? And I'll to hole 9 with what sounds like very strong wind. This is a tailwind, it'll actually be very interesting. It's more of a crosswind, actually, by the looks of it, but if we can get in a decent position... Ooh, yeah, I actually don't think we can drive onto the green from here. I think the wind is too much of a crosswind as opposed to a tailwind. In fact, I think with such a strong cross... Do you see that person? They are dropping right down into the rough. And they're going to be taking their second stroke right there. So I'm actually going to curve my shot here. Because I can't adjust as much as I want for the wind, I'll just go straight into the tree. Just like that poor person right there. Nice shot. Okay, didn't get enough uh, curve. Wowzers, that was in. I'm standing on the OB. That's crazy. Yeah, I meant to give it way more curve there, so kind of lucky I'm not in the OB, actually. Didn't uh, twist my wrist enough, I guess. It's actually not a bad position to be in. We could easily, easily drive under the tree there and get right down to the bottom of the fairway. That was pretty cool, not a bad position. I've never been there before. You learn something new about Switch Sports Golf every time you play. Nice shot. Yeah, it's too much backspin. Or is it? Nice no, it's not. This hole is just full of close calls because now I have the easy angle. Obviously, if I was on the fringe, it'd be a little more difficult to predict the green. Jeez, so what a hole there. In the end, it was a, a nice birdie. Good 10 points from a tricky hole 9 with tricky wind. And yeah, let's see how many birdies there were. Only two. Nice. So that puts me, again, uh, in solo control of first place, three points ahead of IU, the S7 player, and on to hold two. So this actually doesn't look like easy wind in pin position, but I'm thinking I can maintain a three-point lead for the rest of the game. I mean, there's still three holes left, and it's only one stroke, but if I play competently, which I know I can, it will be another, another nice win. But we gotta get there first. Well, that's a mistake. Right after I say I think I can play competently, I land in the rough on hole two. Imagine. Okay, someone remind me to never putt from the rough again. I was thinking it would slow my ball down so much, and obviously gave it way too much power. Well, just like that, I've given up my lead. I'm going to be tied for first now, after this hole. I spoke a little bit too soon when I said I can play competently for the rest of the game. I guess I just felt a little too safe and uh, eased off the gas pedal, you know what I mean? 
Well, back in the trenches, tied for first. We have more strong wind. Jeez. I do not know what is up with the seeds today. But uh, I don't know if I can get onto the fairway from here. Might be dropping down onto the rough. Hey, we'll see, though. We might actually be able to get enough power. Nice shot. Not quite. But it's not too big of a deal. I mean, we can still chip onto the green here and either chip an eagle or get a nice approach. Although, this does not look like an easy chip, just where the hole is and what the wind's doing. I think I'm just going to try to be on the green. I don't want to end up in the bunker if I adjust too much, so... We'll just go like this. I'll probably go full power. Maybe a tiny bit of backspin just to play it safe. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about, is actually landing too far to the left. Because the wind didn't carry me as much as I thought. But luckily I played it a little bit safe, so I didn't, like over adjust and then lands like in the bunker like I was talking about earlier over there and sinking a pretty nice birdie again a, a hole that was tricky with the wind so and geez it looks like I'll be jumping out to first place again You saw it. I got the birdie. My competitors tied for first did not. It looks like nobody did, so... What a match so far. A lot of back and forth, actually. Yeah, going to the final hole. Three-point lead, though. Similarly to last game, and let's see if I can maintain this lead. It's been an interesting couple games so far. I feel like I've played pretty well, but I've also missed some easy putts along the way. Bit of a mixed bag so far, but we are on a special hole 19 with strong tailwind, so... It's interesting. I have to get the birdie here. If I get par, I could end up tied for first if one of these two players gets a, a birdie. Nice shot. So it's like I have two chances to give up my lead because two players are right behind me and either one of them could uh, get a, a birdie. Whereas I only have one person to get the birdie, one chance, whereas they have two chances. It's like a 2v1. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Probably not, but if you know what I mean, then you know what I'm trying to say. Nice shot. Ooh, yeah, I did not calculate that tree. To be honest with you, I didn't even think about hitting it. So all of a sudden, my first place chances are looking very fragile right now. It's a tricky win, though. It is a special hole. I do think there's a good chance that these players get par, but we'll, we'll see. We will see. And they both took their shots, and nobody's on the green yet, except for me, so I think that's a good sign. I do wonder if I can see where they are, actually. Okay, well, now I'm running out of time. Okay, there's a par, and there's two more pars, so great. That's another win on our journey to infinity rank, so we're still quite far away, but getting wins is really the only way I can do that, and it's probably going to be a similar amount of rank as last time, just because the lobby was similar. So 44-point performance, drastically different than 55 I put up last game. It was a bit of a harder seed, though I did or a special hole and par hole too, but check the rank here. Another decent amount. So, we're slowly chipping away at S6. I will see you guys in game number three.
well, folks. About two and a half hours after I got that second, or sorry, that seventh place performance, I am pretty much back to where I was before I had that seventh place performance. But that's only because I had that super stacked lobby where I came second and I actually ranked up to S6 again. So without that lobby, it would have been probably a lot more grinding. But, but what a roller coaster of golf and rank and everything this video. I have been playing for way too long. I've got a bit of golf fatigue, so if I play another match, I am. Well, it's not going to go very well. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice shot. Nice approach. Nice shot. Nice one.
Great Eagle. Nice shot. Nice on. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice one.
Nice shot. Nice song. Amazing. Yeah. Finish. <laughs> 